Good morning, civilians. We have a lot of exciting things to talk about in this video, so stay tuned. So as you know, two weeks ago, we released our public alpha build on Steam. It's an ambitious build featuring several job options, a karma conditioning system, questing, and reasonable multiplayer functionality. It's exciting, but there's one complication to it. As I'm sure a lot of you have noticed, there aren't a lot of people online. In fact, most of the time, there are no active servers, and when there are, no one's really playing. In this video, we're going to talk about some of the issues, and I'm going to talk a little bit about my plan to bring this game to what we all want. Looking at this from my perspective, the player deflux could be a result of poor marketing, but I don't think this is entirely true. There are many people who are as excited about Civil as I am, who tune into these videos, in fact, there's even a Discord roleplay community that's very excited for the future of the game. You guys may agree with me, but I believe the reason Civil is slowing down is because of a lack of gameplay. Sure, it's great that we have some job systems, weapons, and vehicles, but these aren't factors that really make a good game. They're simply foundational for a roleplay game. I fear that what we've done was to try to produce a game that wouldn't be immediately compared to other roleplay startups who might not have had the most ethical business plans in mind. To build a game that would be the perfect roleplay game in a very short amount of time that was made mostly by one guy. So, here's the exciting news. Over the past few weeks I've been really breaking down the overall game design for Civil, looking over our risks, development-wise and financial-wise, etc. I've also done some analysis over some of the other games that our community is inspired by. For example, a lot of people have asked about systems I'd never heard of from roleplay mods and stuff like that. This kind of community involvement is, of course, critical as a game designer. Part of my plan is to take everyone's ideas and put them into one game, and I did it. I figured it all out, and I have a very in-depth game design structure that I'll be making public. Don't worry, these core gameplay aspects might be in depth, but the new plan involves actually simplifying the game. For example, the 0.1 build, which is currently the alpha build, is full of unoptimizations, bugs, and other things that are otherwise considered unacceptable from a retail-ready game. Instead of me sitting on top of these bugs trying to compensate with such a large number of gameplay features like heavy item stats, multi-slot equipment systems, and other complicated multiplayer architectures that exist in the back end of the alpha, we can really narrow down on these issues and resolve them all in one big swoop by just simplifying the game. What are the most important things to you in a roleplay game? Realistic jobs? Crime? Politics? These are questions that I need to be asking myself as the project lead. Building a system that incorporates all of your political ideas, economy ideas, and general gameplay ideas is the key to the entire project. I'm very, very excited to start narrowing down on the plan, because our next step is beta. I want the beta to be a game changer, completely reinventing everything you've ever seen in any other roleplay games, bringing in our new world, reinventing our architectures, and making Civil the Game the perfect multiplayer framework that we all want. I'll be uploading new videos on this channel, and I think things are about to get very interesting. Stay tuned, guys.